The modern man is addicted to pleasure. If he wants something, he's gonna get it right there and then. He's gonna award himself every single day, and he's gonna eat one piece of chocolate. It's just one piece of chocolate. And if he wants something, he wants to get it right now, and there's nothing standing between him and that thing. Except, of course, discipline, and pain, and discomfort, and all these things, right? His philosophy is, if I want something, I'm gonna get it right now. I do whatever I want, whenever I want. If I wanna jerk off, I'm gonna jerk off right now. If I want to take a snort of cocaine, I'm going to take it right now. <laughs> and he says things to the disciplined men like, You should award yourself. You should really give yourself a little time of pleasure. Shut up. The caveman. The caveman sees only the forest. He doesn't rejoice in the technologies of the modern day. If he wants something, he works hard for it. His philosophy is, if I want something, there is gonna be nothing between me and that thing but God. The caveman awards himself only occasionally and only for big achievements. But of course, he achieves every single day. He achieves things in each day that are greater than the things that the modern man achieves in one year. He's a productive man, he's a masculine man, he's a fighter, he's a warrior. He rejoices only in the name of the Lord. He loves all the ways of the Lord. The difference between the caveman and the modern man is just I don't want to waste your time with this video. The reason you're suffering isn't only because of the things you did. And self-improvement YouTubers have been telling you these things and this is why you probably didn't act on those videos, which is probably the reason why you're watching this video. The reason you are fucked is because you've been fucked before birth. Your mother has had estrogenic stuff, drinking and fucking drinking like regular milk, which is actually bad for your body. Where they put like fucking hormones in there. And then your father, you grew up, did you have a masculine father? But from the age of zero to seven, kids don't learn. They simply soak up, they're like sponges. What did you soak up? Was your father a strong masculine role model? Or was he showing you TV and giving you everything the second you, want, you wanted it? Because doing that makes a man broken. The fastest way to break someone's spirit is to give them whatever they want, whenever they want. I promise you, the man who is disciplined will go through more pain before he breaks than the man who is not disciplined who is given everything he wants. Look at the modern man. Look at them. I'll have some pictures up on screen. Do you think these are masculine men? Do you think we should even title them as men? Because I think a man is more than a person who has a penis. I think a man is a person who has that, but who also is masculine and who also is purpose-driven. And let's all be honest, many men are lost. We are on this self-improvement path all together, but many men are so lost and it's so dark and dangerous for them. Why is it that everything has become so hard for these men? Why are they so, so caught up in themselves? Why, why do they not understand that the things that I teach or that the self-improvement industry in general teaches them is good for them? That they need to speak up, that they need to become men again, that they should take their grandfather or Jesus as their role models instead of, instead of fucking, who is a role model of the modern people? Who is that? Fucking Kim Kardashian? It is all so wicked and, I, and, I'm, and I'm asking myself constantly, what can I do to help them do this? And the answer has always been nothing. 
I can do nothing if you don't do anything. Because the reason you're addicted, you're hooked to all these things, is pain barrier. I'm currently reading the book Dopamine Nation by Dr. Lampke. And if you want to go down in the description, definitely buy that book. It's like 10 bucks on Amazon or something. I'll put a link to that in the description maybe. It's a very awesome book. She talks about many concepts of freeing yourself from any addiction there. So it's definitely worth it if you want to dive really deep into this. And if you are down there, just click on the subscribe button. It's a win-win for both of us. The pain barrier has been removed from everything. Do you have pain when you click on Instagram? No, you only have pleasure. Do you have pain when you jerk off? No, you only, you only get pleasure. We need a mix of pleasure and pain. There needs to be a mix. There needs to be a balance. And this is the only balance you should chase in life. You shouldn't try and hide pain. You should be grateful for pain. You should be very grateful for pain because pain is this awesome thing that creates a man. Look at any man who has experienced a lot of physical pain, a lot of physical stress. Look at him. Look in his eyes. Look very deep. And you will find the truth within that. You will find the truth, the overwhelming truth, the discomfortable truth that only pain will get you where you want to be. There is no way around pain if you want to be successful in life. The people who try and go as pain-free as possible are those who try to be as successless as possible. We need to add pain barriers in. And I'm not telling you to do do 50 push-ups before you go on Pornhub. Uh, for every sensation you get of your dick moving and no, not November, do 20 push I heard all this stupid advice and it never helped me. It never helped me. Using this, the three second rule and breathe deeply while you jerk off. Uh, try, try to remove your boner with your hands. And, uh. I have done all this. I've tried it all. It's never worked for me. It only put me deeper in this hole. We cannot blossom ourselves with fucking painkillers, basically. Netflix is a painkiller. Instagram is a painkiller. What do you do when you're in that circle of people and no one's talking? What are you doing? Are you pulling out your phone and looking on Instagram? Yes, because it's a painkiller. You need to understand it. You, if you say, oh, I'm never taking, I'm never taking painkiller. If you've been on Instagram once in your life, you have been taking painkillers. Trust me when I say, you need to get off of these painkiller things. Pain is something good. We need to frame it this way. Pain is something good. We need to see pain as something good. Masculinity, and remember this phrase, say it with me out loud right now. Masculinity grows through discomfort. Stop seeing though, before you do this, before you click off this video, before you delete Instagram, before you do this heroic act, know that all your behavior is a symptom, not the cause. It's not because you jerk off that you're a loser. You're a loser. No, cut it out. It's not that you're a loser because you jerk off seven times a day. You jerk off seven times a day because you're a loser. You have this frame in your mind of I am bad. I have bad mental health. I'm depressive. It's so hard. I need motivation. Someone said this to me the other day. Training without motivation isn't worth anything. Someone said this shit to me and I was this close to slapping some sense into him. When I look at these weak men these days, I think of them, they're sick and they're trying to solve the symptoms. You're trying to solve all the symptoms with discipline, but it won't work for you because at some point your discipline will break. Be so disciplined that the devil will think, what the fuck, when is this, when is this motherfucker giving up? Shut the fuck up, please. My head hurts from that shit. I hear it every single day. Be disciplined, be disciplined, be disciplined. Remove the cause and the symptoms will go away. And the cause for that is bad mental health. And bad mental health is also a symptom of being not masculine enough as a man or not being feminine enough as a woman. And what's evil about modern society by removing the pain barrier from everything and everything is at, at your disposal, right? Earlier, men and women used to have different pain points, right? Men didn't want to make the fucking 
the, the laundry or something or cook, right? Men didn't want to do that, so the women did it. But the women didn't want to go out and hunt. But nowadays, everyone just tells you, yeah, just do whatever you want. And if we do whatever we want, and if we can do everything we want, we will land in the middle. Here is the masculine, here is the feminine, here is where most people are at. And this is what makes bad mental health so popular these, these days. And this is what we're going to solve. And I think my audience is like 80, 90% male. Like three men, women are watching this video, maybe. And the, the quote that you need to remember in everything you do, in everything where you want to quit because of discomfort is masculinity grows through discomfort. This is the way you will go from here to here to fully masculine, to the full on alpha chad. And it sounds so, so stupid, all these sayings of, oh, love your life, enjoy your life, God is with you. I experience these things. The things you see on Instagram, they're all true if you only work for them hard enough. Success will come with more discipline. This thing will become true as soon as you remove the real cause of your pain. And the real cause of your pain is that you're not even in your body. Social media is taking your soul away by taking the pain barrier away. I've made a video once where I talked about that social media is taking away your soul. And if you want the video in full length, I'll put it up in the info card maybe. And in that, I basically say that first you pay attention to something. And then through paying attention to that, your mind is fixated on it, right? Now you're thinking about it. And this is hopefully where this video is at for you right now. Hopefully you're thinking about the tactic that, tactics that I'm telling you. Hopefully you're thinking about ways to add more discomfort into your day-to-day -day life. And hopefully you, you're, you're inspired to take on the next day with this challenge of I want to have as much discomfort as possible. And then your soul is at that thing. Then you're fully committed. Then you went from obsessed to possessed by that thing. Then you are full on in that drive mode. Then you want to grind on that thing. This is the point where I want to ultimately get you on. And social media does all these things. First, you spend your time thinking about Instagram. Then you spend your time creating Instagram reels for your business. Then you do all these stupid things on Instagram, like hooking up with girls. And then your soul is on it. Then you're obsessed with it. Then you're possessed by it. And then your heart is within that thing. Rip away from it. This takes strength, this takes power, this takes discipline, but most importantly, this takes time. You can go and click on any video on my channel, any video on there will help you with exactly finding yourself again, finding your heart, finding your soul, and finding more discomfort in our lives and finding more learning lessons from this discomfort. I'm not a teacher, I'm a student of Jesus Christ. Glorified be his name forever. For he is the Lord who rules in heaven above, and he is my sweet prince of love and of peace. And I'm merely a student of him, and I'm sharing my lessons on this channel. So if you like this, and if you want to be part of my tribe, the tribe of Jesus, then you can head down and subscribe to this channel and repent go to church this sunday jesus will meet you there he wants to tell you something master your mind